Okay, question nine. Uh, that's what we've been doing. We really need to know how to label our sides and write these ratios because in the next section, we're going to be solving the triangles and you have to be able to set these up when you solve. So sine, cosine, tangent, those are our three trig ratios. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So let's label our sides based on reference angle A. Start with the hypotenuse. It's the one across from the right angle. And then you go across from your reference angle, and that's the opposite. And then this last one next to it is called the adjacent. Now we're just going to match those and make our fractions. So opposite over hypotenuse, 8 over 2 squared, so 41. Adjacent over hypotenuse, so 10 over 2 squared, so 41. And then tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 8 over 10. And I'm going to reduce these. So 8 over 2 is 4. And then the square root of 41 is still there. 10 over 2 is 5. And the square root of 41 is still there. And then these both divide by 2, so we get 4 fifths. So I'm going to type those in. So 4. 4 divided by square root of 41, 5 divided by square root of 41, and then 4 fifths. So remember what happens when we switch our reference angle to B. The opposite and adjacent switch sides, and so do the sine and cosine. So sine of A is equal to cosine of B. Cosine of A is equal to sine of B. And then for the tangent, it's the reciprocal. So instead of 4 fifths, it's going to be 5 fourths when those values switch spots.